So we're doing some back work here, uh, positional sparring. We're getting ready for a competition. So he's a, he's a wrestler, so he's not used to putting his hooks in. As you can see, his hooks are kind of out. So I just use my hips to escape uh, in this scramble. He's going to come up on top because I don't do a good job of beating his hips. But I clear his hip line by going underneath it. And then I'm going to come up on top with a good old knee on belly and then swap into the mount. And I'm going to keep that arm for the arm triangle. I'm a big fan of arm triangles recently. They're super easy. Nice, nice to get less work. Because you're already trying to work the hand up for other things. If uh, the arm triangle's there, I'm pretty much going to go for it. <clears throat> Again, he's being... Uh, nice because i think he wants to increase mobility of uh, leaving his legs out but you see here my hips are basically on top so when he tries to come up on top of me i hook it over and uh, because i control where his uh, body momentum could go i could easily rotate him over and then i put him in another uh, arm triangle like i said i'm trying to work on them i think they're easy to do good positioning i say we uh had to change locations so we uh weren't super familiar with these mats just yet and uh they're they're a little different i kind of grew up on these kind of mats so to speak so i understand how rough and everything they are but uh he went shirtless and uh you'll see in a minute kind of tears up his arm a little bit but again i clear my uh legs from the hip line i try to work my shoulders free since he starts to control my hip a little better and then I roll into him because uh, he stops controlling my hip then. So then I just come up into him into guard position. And then from here, I'm just gonna go into mount. I'm gonna work on that knee slice through. All right. And then from here, I'm gonna work a type of uh, guillotine choke almost. It's like a reverse guillotine, but kind of the shoulder of justice, everyone wants to call it, but it, uh, sneaks in there when you got the, the back pinch. All right, and you see here, he tries to do double uh, unders, and then uh, I'm gonna sneak that arm bar in because he's not defending his hand super well. <clears throat> and I'm sure he's actually probably never seen an arm bar from uh, the, uh, the back position. Uh, here, I'm gonna be cheeky and try it again so he can understand and uh, he, he definitely understands he defends it and then right here he starts to try to control my uh, hips so i uh, start to flatten them down but i almost give him belly back and uh i wasn't about to do that so i start to turn back into him controlling my own hip line and i stop his hips from coming up prevent the triangle and then uh, obviously pass it and then come into my own mount and then work on that gift wrap kind of position that is uh Big shoulder muscles make that uh, gift wrap an easy tap, but basically, he, uh, he's getting a little torn up by the mat, so you'll see he'll throw his sweater back on because they are a little rough, but again, I kind of grew up on these kind of mats, so I don't mind them. I think they're a little slick because of age and stuff like that, but yeah, not everyone's all about these mats. They can be a little rough on your skin. Yeah, for uh, those back escapes, you just got to work either your shoulders or your hips. You can't let them control both because when they uh, control both, then you uh, are very limited in your escape. And uh, here I put my hooks in, trying to, you know, overtime standard position like this. And then from here, I'm just going to lay him down to the uh, choke side. Uh, I'm not actually going to throw the choke on for a little bit. I'm just ha hand fighting at first. Uh, right here, you'll start to see my hand, our hand fighting and all that, and he's uh, isolating it over to one side. But as soon as I uh, turn him sideways right here, my uh, hand sneaks up, and uh, the body torsion is uh, kind of, I think, more what got him there. You can see him kind of like grab his hip. I think the uh, spinal alignment with his hips was a little off, so it made it uncomfortable for him. So the choke wasn't really what I think tapped him there. But unfortunately, that's a uh, <clears throat> kind of how it works sometimes and uh we're gonna go again and I'm gonna, it's gonna be real fast a little uh i'm gonna sneak my hand up real fast and just <clears throat> he didn't really fight all that much but he knew that the, the choke was kind of there so he just kind of let it go
go but we're coming to an end of this one really and uh right here i'm just controlling that top position but uh that was the end of the round <laughs>